Hello, hello, third grade. How are you, my dears? Okay, I'm so glad to see you here watching this video. And well, today I just wanted to show you the activities we are going to work in this week, okay? So as you can see, I have opened the story, The Lazy Worms, that we already read in last classes. But why I opened this one? Because we should work with um, another exercise in shaping my language following the answers from the test. Okay, so from page 27 in Awesome Reader, we're going to uh, see again this story and read it again okay just to remind it and then we go to shaping my language page 56 then you can see in here the exercises we are going to work okay it says the title let's be wild okay good but first I want to read for you the objective of this class. The objective is identify vocabulary related to animals and use it through sentences with simple grammar forms. Okay, as you can see today, we're going to work a little bit uh, with uh, vocabulary about animals. We are going to use can, can't, and also adjectives okay so let's start with page 56 as you can see in here it says draw a different ending of the story so we have to draw how you can imagine your own ending of the story okay the story the lazy worms okay good so now we have here point number one look at the pictures retail the plot of the story in your own words so in here they show us a little bit the images the pictures how the story is going okay so in your own words you are going to right what do you think is happening in every one of these pictures go to page now 57 and then you have this box and then you have these uh also these words in the box up we have here young tall tiny strong grumpy clean obedient responsible scary we're going to identify these adjectives and then we're going to classify it in every one of these columns the first one it says uh, characteristics of the farmer and his son characteristics of the bull characteristics of the earthworm okay that is the idea classify the adjectives in every one of the spaces point number three for this page we're not gonna work no problem we're going to be in page 58 and then you can see here another box and then you have to classify the information that you listen in the audio, the boy and the animals. Okay. The box, it says farmer and his son's abilities, bull and earthworm abilities. Okay. In this one, you can see the title, it says get into pairs but we're going to work 
uh, in class all together. Imagine you are a superhero, write some of your abilities below, okay? And draw a superhero with the strength of a bull. So you have to write in here the characteristics you think you have if you were a superhero, okay? We are going to use adjective in this exercise. So now we go to page 59 and in here they are remind us the use of can't, okay? Negative form for can. It says language key. We use the negative can't to express the inability to do or to be. In negative sentence, you use the auxiliary can't, cannot, also, before the verb. Example, my father can't dance. Yeah, my father either. Okay. So here we can see point number three. Compare your abilities, other animals' abilities, and abilities you wish for. We have three circles, things you can do, abilities you wish for, things animals can do all of these spaces will be filled with adjectives we are going to work with adjectives okay right number four write a description of a superhero that has animal superpowers use adjective to describe their personality and physical appearance and the auxiliaries can and can't to describe their abilities okay so in here we're going to uh, talk about superheroes and what can and can't do okay describing all the personality of these characters okay so now my dears this is everything for now we are going to uh, share all this information in classes and also I'm going to help you obviously with the answers of every one of these points okay my dears I'm gonna um, annex uh, one video about superheroes it's very funny I know that you will enjoy it I hope so, okay? And yes, my dears, this is everything for now. And see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye. Love you so much. Bye.